Hello, thank you for joining today to learn a little bit more about Alchemco's concrete waterproofing products. Specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about the spray applied products, the TechCrete, the Bridge Deck, and the Crete Pro product lines. So let's get started. Let's get the presentation queued up here. And here we go. So Alchemco is a global manufacturer of integral waterproofing products for concrete and masonry structures. We're based here in the United States. In 2018, Alchemco acquired a company called TechCrete, which had invented this technology and been manufacturing it and shipping it around the globe uh, for over 40 years. The products are generally used to uh, con to waterproof concrete structures, such as parking structures, highway bridges, stadiums, ports and marinas, water treatment plants, containment vessels, water parks, airports, dams, tunnels, uh, anywhere where you've got exposed structural concrete. Here are some of the projects around the globe, just to give you an idea of uh, the scope and scale. So airport parking structure in Australia, an indoor water park in Moraine, a floating dry dock in the Pacific Ocean, an aquarium in Norway, the Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil is a project that's coming up shortly. Uh, Sao Paulo International Airport, where they did the uh, elevated drives and the parking structures, industrial complex in Ukraine, highway bridge uh, in Thailand, water treatment plants in Peru, airport in Rome, Italy, power plant in England, uh, cathedral in Brazil. So you get an idea of the types of projects and the scope and the scale uh, of those projects that uh, have been done. Alchemco has five product lines. TechCrete, Crete Pro, and Bridge Deck are the spray applied products. Duratite is a crystalline based uh, technology, and ACR are cleaning and repair products. So, to the uh, spray applied, uh, our award winning spray applied waterproofing systems include TechCrete, uh, Bridge Deck, and Crete Pro, as I mentioned. Uh, they are all long-term waterproofing protection for the concrete structures. They're safe and fast applications. So they're protecting for decades, not years. There's short close down times, which is great for parking structures, bridges, things that you need to get on and off of very quickly. And then because of the labor savings, you're on and off the job as a contractor in, in most cases, less than half the time of some of the competitive systems. So here's some application video clips. Uh, TechCrete in particular, Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Uh, this was the first phase of this was done last summer. They're starting the second phase now. Uh, shows a little bit of, a, of an application here, spraying the, uh, the uh, waterproofing uh, down. You see uh, it's a very small crew here. It's a two or three man crew. They have, they're pumping straight out of a 55 gallon drum. One person to help with the hose is one person to do the spraying, and in some cases, one person to uh, move the uh, drums around. Uh, stadium stairwells were another part of the project. Uh, this can also be used on vertical applications. This is a below grade application uh, in Arizona on a shopping center. So you see them uh, doing the below grade walls and then they'll backfill against this. Uh, after the uh, spray applied is uh, waterproofing is done, the next part of the uh, process is to water that area in. Uh, we're going to go into uh, what the reasons are for that as we go along. Uh, another TechCrete uh, application here is uh, on a uh, water containment vessel, uh, the uh, concrete roof on the project, the lid. And then our bridge deck product is focused, as you can imagine, on the highway bridges, dams, tunnels, things like that. So here you see uh, Oklahoma DOT is uh, spraying out of a uh, 55 gallon drum with a battery powered gun. This uh, operation will get maybe about 15,000 square feet an hour. On the right, you see them doing the watering uh, at Washington DOT out of one of their trucks. 
Uh, you can gear up even heavier. This is a project that South Dakota DOT was doing. They set up a box truck with a spray bar that could do two lanes at a time. So as you can imagine, this is probably doing 40 or 50,000 square feet an hour. Um, they set this up both to do the waterproofing, uh, which you see going on here. And then they had a separate spray bar to do the watering. Uh, so the truck just went to one end of the bridge and then once it dried, they came back uh, doing the, uh, the watering for the next step. Uh, this is an underground parking structure that was done in Kansas City with Crete Pro. Uh, you see a spray rig here. This is a 10 foot wide spray bar and that white drum there container holds a 55 gallon drum. So this little rig can do 11,000 square feet uh, before it has to be filled back up again. Lowe's corporate headquarters uh, in North Carolina. They did these two parking structures on the left here 15 years ago. And uh, because it was going so well, they did a third one uh, just this last fall. So some of the things that make the products a unique, uh, the ability to seal not only existing cracks, but future cracks, proven performance in the field since the 1970s, Speed and ease of application means less downtime. You can get up to a 30 year full system labor and material warranty if it's applied by a certified applicator. Uh, it's a money saving solution. And some of the impressive physical characteristics, it can't be damaged or deteriorate. It can't blister. It can't delaminate any of that because it's inside the concrete. Uh, it densifies the concrete surface so it makes the drive surface harder. Uh, it's resistant to chloride ions and chemicals. It's got great hydrostatic pressure ratings. They're vapor permeable, so it does not trap moisture in the slab. VOC free, so environment friendly, can be used anywhere. Potable water safe, so drinking water certified. Uh, they passed the NSF 61 test. Does not change the appearance of the structure. It's colorless and odorless and safe and easy to work with. So when you put all of that together, you really have a great value uh, for the owners. Here's a real quick video clip of the uh, gel formation that happens inside of the concrete. Uh, we're going to show you the two different uh, spray applications uh, or the products that are used in the spray applications. First, there's the waterproofing agent. Again, it's clear, it's colorless, it's odorless. It gets sprayed onto the concrete and penetrates in. And then in the second step, this accelerating agent gets uh, sprayed on and it penetrates in and it reacts with the waterproofing to form this gel inside the concrete, not on the surface but below the surface and that fills all the cracks and voids and fissures and everything. And it stays resident in the concrete. So when there's future cracks and water comes in, it hits these chemicals and activates them and fills those cracks as well. So pretty amazing stuff. Uh, there's projects out there, documented projects out there, 35 years old that uh, have never been reapplied and uh, are still waterproofing. Here's a quick, uh, picture of an untreated concrete slab. This is microscopic. You see the cracks and voids and paste and everything. On the right here, you see after it's been treated where all of that has been filled in. So that's protecting the rebar, obviously. It'll seal cracks up to two millimeters wide, which is about the width of a car key when it's applied, and then future cracks of 0.4 millimeters. So hairline cracks about the width of a pencil lead in a mechanical pencil. This is a quick demonstration. This is a small area demonstration we did for the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. In fact, this is now a project. They're going to be starting this in a couple of weeks. But uh, this parking structure was in really bad shape. They wanted to see how our technology worked. And so uh, you see this metal plate here. This is covering a huge crack that you're going to see a little bit later on uh, in the next slide. But there's about an inch of water uh, sitting on top of this uh, area here. We cleaned off four parking spots. This is actually the clean uh, part of it. This is as, as clean as we were able to get it. You'll see here in a second what the rest of the parking structure looked like. It's the dark band up here. That's what the whole rest of the parking structure looks like. 
anyway, so then uh, inside, uh, after the spray was, spraying was done, we waited three or four days for the gel to form. And this is a crack that's underneath that metal plate. So this is just to show you that the inch of water is still up there while we were filming this. And so here you can see it pouring through uh, and yet the parking space is directly next to it that we treated, even though you can see the staining because it's been leaking for years, uh, it's dry as a bone. So the gel has formed in the concrete slab. Uh, it goes about three quarters of an inch below the surface and it swells up and fills all those cracks and pores and stops all that concrete uh, from leaking, even though, again, there's an inch of water sitting up on the surface right now. And once we show people this uh, in live action or in videos, they it, they, it seems to sink in and they understand. So uh, first, we're going to talk about Techcrete. Uh, the two main products in the Techcrete line are a concrete admix. This is a powder that gets put into the concrete when it's being poured. So this is just strictly for new construction, this particular project. Uh, and then the Techcrete 2500 is the spray applied that uh, we just showed you. The Techcrete 2500 uh, was voted the most innovative product at the World of Concrete in 2020, which is the last time they had the competition. So we're pretty excited about that because I think there were 60,000 people there and four buildings worth of uh, different products and things. But we won the main category, the materials for concrete construction category. Uh, this has also been approved for use over occupied space. Uh, so uh, Miami-Dade, uh, which has some of the toughest building uh, uh, building uh, controls uh, and requirements in the world, uh, has a method that they test this TSA 112. And so we had this test done by third party at Intertech Labs. They created uh, two little mock-ups here, two inch thick concrete slabs and encased them in plastic and filled it with water. Here you can see two inches of water. And the test requires that there's no leaking for a 24 hour period uh, after the uh, waterproofing has been put down. And here were the results. After 24 hours in both cases, there was no leaks. After 72 hours, no leaks. After seven days, no leaks. And after 10 days, no leaks. And that's when they stopped the test. So, uh, so this is now, uh, we also have a system that is approved for use as a roofing system or over plaza decks, over occupied spaces, balconies, uh, planters, etc. The three big reasons that we give for using the Techcrete 2500, one, the main one, it prevents the premature deterioration of the concrete. It's gonna give a more sustainable, durable uh, structure for you because it stops that water infiltration and chemicals and it won't allow the steel reinforcement to corrode. It's reliable. Owners, specifiers, contractors all want to make sure this is going to work. Well, it's been around for over 40 years out in the world protecting structures. And then the value, once they decide they're going to spend their money, they want to get the best value for it. And so we're going to show you here why it's the best value. Uh, and unlike temporary coatings and sealers that are the main things that get used out there in the marketplace, Techcrete 2500 not only seals the cracks, but it seals cracks that haven't even occurred yet. So here's a, an application uh, for uh, the city of Bloomington, Indiana, parking structure. They're spraying directly out of a drum. It's a two-man crew. You see here's the drum, the guy moving the drum around, the guy spraying. They've sectioned off an area so the cars can go back and forth. And they can do about 20,000 square feet an hour, about 200 squares an hour of coverage doing it directly out of a drum like that. Then, as you saw before, there's the spray rig. That's probably more like 25 to 30,000 square feet an hour. Um, and then after that has been done and it dries, we water the whole surface and we water it extensively. This water's doing two things. One is it's driving the waterproofing into the concrete and starting to form the gel inside the concrete. It's also helping to remove some excess waterproofing so it doesn't dry all white and splotchy. So as I said, the watering is a very important part. Uh, if there's not a water stand of available like on bridges and stuff, they'll bring a water truck out uh, or, or totes. 
So then the second step after that first step is done, uh, what we're going to do is spray crack and void treatment on any existing cracks and then the accelerating agent, which is that second bottle uh, over the entire surface. So this is a bridge that has a lot of cracks because we need three things for that gel to form. We need the waterproofing agent, we need calcium, which is in concrete naturally, and we need water those three things. Where we have cracking, a lot of times the calcium has leached out of the concrete. So by using the crack and void treatment, we're making sure that we put enough in. And then we spray the entire surface with the accelerating agent. That's that second bottle. And that does exactly what it thinks. It accelerates the gel. So that gel formation would happen anyway in about three or four weeks. By using the accelerating agent, it happens in about three or four days. And then after that second step is uh, applied, it, we let it dry and then it gets watered again. You cannot overwater this. The more water there's there, the rain um, containment tanks, the more gel forms. It just, it, it loves water. Then after that, we do our flashing work at any angle changes, penetrations, drains through the slab, things like that. Here's that uh, below grade application. And you see after waterproofing it, they have caulked it with our poly seal sealant. And now they're using the poly membrane flashing four inches out and four inches up just as an added protection. So some projects that have been done in the US with the TechCrete, Miami International Airport, they did 700,000 square feet, two full parking structures, uh, one in 2010 and then one five years later in 2015. They wanted to test it out first, they saw how well it worked and so they did the second one and they're now talking with us about additional projects. Uh, Purdue University, this is a parking structure, and this is just to illustrate how little material you need. So uh, you see here, this is a 30,000 square foot level of the parking structure. This is all the material you need, three drums of the waterproofing and three drums of the accelerating agent. And we've actually made an improvement recently where we have a concentrate for the accelerating agent. So you can buy a five gallon pail and add water and it makes a 55 gallon drum. So really all, the entire project could have fit on one pallet now. Uh, this is a top level of a parking structure in Australia it was done back in 1988, right? So 34 years ago, it was leaking at the time. It was about 25 years old at the time. They waterproofed it, it was watertight. Five years later, they had an engineer come out and water test it, and again, it was 100% waterproof. And then five years ago in 2017, they had another engineer come out. That's the picture you see here. They laminated PVC pipe to the concrete and filled it with water. These three pipes here are over one of the existing cracks that was leaking back in 1988. And the other three are just on the concrete slab. And again, it was 100% waterproof. So no reapplication, no maintenance on it, just the gel doing its work inside the concrete slab. Uh, this is the uh, basketball arena at Colorado State. This one's kind of interesting because they did this second level uh, where you walk into the arena and below this is all occupied space. This is offices and locker rooms and things. It was leaking into those rooms. So they spray applied uh, this and they were so happy with it that they're now doing the first phase of the football stadium there. This is Hamilton on the Bay in Miami, uh, right down on the water. Uh, this is a large uh, remodel. They stripped this thing down to the concrete and completely refurbishing it. And what we're doing here is about 60,000, 70,000 square feet of planters all the way you see on the right here, all the way around there, all the way around the building. Then there's fish ponds inside here. You see all the balconies. Uh, so this is a project that's going on right now. This is a project from 2009 over in Bahrain. This is an indoor water park, 200,000 square feet of swimming areas and floating areas. Here you see them doing the watering when they did the application. So this is the main waterproofing of the system. There, there's nothing else besides this. Pittsburgh International Airport, this was back in 1986. They built a big spray rig and they were able to do a million square feet of runway in 72 hours and 
again, there's that closure time, right? You can't shut runways down for any longer than you absolutely have to. Little River Project in uh, Miami. This is a project that was uh, done uh, last summer. Again, this is they restrip, refurbish this whole building. There's a second floor roof that goes around down here and then the eighth floor roof. Here you see the second floor roof. They uh, did the waterproofing or roofing, if you will, in this case, and then flood tested it. And then this is the upper level. But the interesting thing about this is that second floor roof, uh, by waterproofing it, it allowed the trades to work inside on the first and second floor while they were still had in a construction elevator and were working on all the upper floors. And so because you can't damage this, all the concrete uh, construction debris and everything that fell down doesn't make any difference to our system. So they were able to change the schedule and accelerate the schedule because they were able to work inside while the, you can imagine if this was a, a roof coating or something and all that stuff was coming down on it. Then the bridge deck line, uh, three main products in the bridge deck line, the protectant, the protectant plus and the waterproofing agent. Protectant's 15 year performance plus is 20, waterproofing agent is 25. Uh, this is a one step process for the protectant here. You spray the waterproofing, you let it dry and you water it and you're done. So when lane closures are a big important thing, you don't want it shut down any longer than possible, then you absolutely have to, this is a great option. Bridge Deck Protectant Plus has both of the steps that we showed before, the waterproofing and the watering, and then the accelerator and watering again. And so does the Bridge Deck Waterproofing, uh, just has the 25. So here's a few uh, applications there. This one's actually uh, Illinois DOT uh, in uh, Chicago area. You can see they did the crack treatment, then they've sprayed the entire area, a guy with a backpack sprayer here, and then they're doing the watering. Uh, Washington DOT, again, they chose to do backpack sprayers on this particular bridge and then the watering truck. Uh, this is an Oklahoma DOT one. You see they've got the spray rig on a four-wheeler here and then the uh, truck. This is the South Dakota one we showed you before with the spray rig that does a couple of lanes. Uh, and Delaware did a, a Jersey barriers. They have ASR and ACR issues. And so they were protecting against that. New Jersey DOT has been using this since 2005 uh, as a corrosion inhibitor. Uh, Pitt, Fort Pitt Bridge it, going into downtown Pittsburgh was back in 2003. And then lastly, this is a new construction bridge in Vietnam that was built in 13 and 14. This is a million square feet and they waterproofed the concrete deck and then they paved road asphalt over it. Some of the DOT concerns, lane closure, uh, life expectancy, modulus, is it rigid or flexible? Does it penetrate micro cracks? What are the preparation requirements? temperature range, we were able to answer all of these questions favorably. And as a result, in the last two years, we've got 15 states that have applied the product and another six or seven or eight that are going to be applying it this year. Uh, they're just picking out bridges and waiting for the weather to cooperate. And then lastly, Crete Pro. Uh, Crete Pro is our product that is aimed at smaller contractors and at maintenance teams. So uh, if you've got municipalities or college campuses or hospitals, places that have their own maintenance people and they want to apply it themselves instead of having the contractors do it, that's what the Crete Pro line is for. And so there's four products there. There's the Ultra Waterproofing, the Ultra Plus, our Fast Track, and then we have an Ultra Masonry Sealer that's used on vertical surfaces for brick, uh, CMU, et cetera. And so the three main ones here, the Crete Pro Fast Track is very, very fast. It's a five year material only warranty. You spray the Fast Track, you let it dry and you water it. That can get applied for about a buck 75 a square foot. And it's gonna give you good waterproofing for uh, five years and then it can be reapplied. The Ultra is a 10 year material only warranty. It has the two steps we talked about and that can go down for about 315 a square foot. And then the Ultra Plus, which has the 15 year, has the two steps as well. And that goes about 330 a square foot installed. 
Uh, and some of the Crete Poe projects, Iowa State Football Stadium, uh, Jack Tice, they did the first phase of this last summer. Uh, this is that underground parking structure at the condo complex that uh, we showed you before. And this is that spray rig I was showing you that has the 10 foot spray bar and holds a 55 gallon drum. Basically, I think this was a union job. They had one guy pulling it and the other guy talking to him. Uh, but this was 120,000 square foot uh, top level of the underground parking structure. Uh, this is a new construction project in New York uh, where they had, this is not only surface parking here, but there's an underground parking structure below as well. So that was done in 2020. Uh, this is an apartment complex in Pompano Beach, Florida, where they did the parking structure, the balconies and the pool deck uh, here are all uh, done with Crete Pro. So some things just about Alchemco in general, we have tools for the specifiers. We have CSI formatted specs, CAD detail drawings, tech data sheets, safety data sheets, cell sheets, and we have Alchemco Academy. In fact, they because our product doesn't fit in any categories, they had to give us our own section in division seven. So section 071617 is actually spray applied integral gel forming concrete waterproofing. Uh, so here's some of the CAD detail drawings, the water tanks, parking structures, we've got roofing, we've got the planters, uh, so whatever, whatever we need to have. And then Alchemco Academy is our virtual learning center, our online learning center that uh, is growing as it's a library that we're building as we go. I think it's already got a couple hundred uh, video clips in it on everything and anything you can have to do with our products and waterproofing. So system comparisons real quick, speed of application, shorter downtimes, initial application cost savings, and life cycle cost savings are all big talking points. Uh, and this is a comparison we threw together. We had a contractor figure this out for us, but we said, here's a 100,000 square foot parking structure. Normally a traffic coating, which you would put on this, uh, like a urethane uh, traffic coating, you'd have a six, seven, eight man crew spreading the stuff around multiple layers, base coat or primer, base coat, mid coat, top coat, sand, et cetera. Uh, in comparison, you've got a two man crew here spraying out of the drum uh, with, our, uh, with our TechCrete products. Um, the amount of material you would need for this 100,000 square foot parking structure. With a traffic coating system, you need 42 pallets, which is two semi loads of material. You say you need a six man crew for 10 days. So call it 480 man hours. And that's probably being you know, pretty comfortable and, and, and giving them the benefit of the doubt. The spray applied product, our products would be call it a three man crew for five days. So five days instead of 10, you're talking about 120 man hours instead of 480 man hours. And you're gonna use three pallets of material instead of 42 pallets of material. So again, you can imagine going to the landfill after and trying to get rid of all those buckets. So here's some pricing to give you, these are just guidelines, but TechCrete, is going to run a buck seventy-five to two bucks a square foot for the material, about the same for the labor. So call it three and a half to four bucks a square foot, and it's going to be a one-time application. Never have to put it down again. The bridge deck uh, is depending on which product that you use. It's going to be eighty-five to a buck eighty-five for the material, a buck to two bucks for the labor. So call it a buck eighty-five to three eighty-five. Again. Between the different bridge deck systems, and you're going to get 15 to 25 years of performance out of those. And then Crete Pro, 85 cents to a buck 60. Labor's a buck to two, so call it eight, buck 85 to 360, depending on which Crete Pro product you use. You're going to get five years to 25 years there for uh, for the Crete Pro. And so here's our life cycle comparison. Uh, if you figure that a parking structure or any concrete structure is going to last 50 years, which is what most of the uh, engineers tell us uh, they design for, um, when you very first waterproof it, it's going to be 100% waterproof. And here's the 50-year timeline here going across. When you put our product down, the spray applied products down, TechCrete 2500 in this case, so it's a one-time application. 
that 100,000 square foot parking structure we were talking about, even if it's a four bucks a square foot, you're talking $400,000 to do it. And you're talking about a five day shutdown to do the parking structure. In comparison, if you do a traffic coating and it lasts six, seven, eight, nine years, and then you've got to reapply, even if you do a cheap one, which would be maybe like four and a half or five bucks a square foot installed and could easily be 10 to 15 bucks a square foot installed. If you have to redo that several times over the course of the 50 years, grind it off, et cetera, you're talking about a couple million dollars and two months of shutdown time over that uh, period. So when you talk about life cycle costing to people that are going to have these structures for a long time, again, highway bridges, parking structures, municipalities, stadiums, et cetera, there's really a, a dramatic difference. And so again, with coatings, you're going to apply a coating, right? And then over the years, it's going to fail. It's going to blister, delaminate, wear out, et cetera. You're going to have to grind it off and put down another coating. And then a several years later, it's going to fail again, and you're going to have to grind it off again. And you're just going to keep going through that cycle. Here's the wear pattern uh, on one of the turns here. So we're, the dynamic is changing to move away from this and towards the integral spray applied products. So in summary, the pros for our products are improved durability and sustainability for concrete structures. That's really what this is all about. How do you get more time out of the concrete structure before you have to do big repairs or tear it down and build something new? It's seal stable cracks up to two millimeters wide when it's applied and then future cracks up to 0.4 millimeters wide. It's vapor permeable, so it's not gonna trap moisture. It's gonna allow the concrete slab to breathe. Highly resistant to chemical and chloride ions. It acts as a densifier, so it increases the hardness of the concrete. Excellent hydrostatic pressure rating, so it can be used again on subways, tunnels, uh, dams, etc. Fast application, which means less downtime. And in a lot of cases, for instance, highway bridges, parking structures, if you've got a wastewater treatment plant, you can't take a tank down for any longer than you absolutely have to. This is very fast. It can qualify for up to a 30 year labor and material system warranty, which is unmatched in the industry. Gel formulation handles thermal stress well, so the building movement freeze thaw non-toxic and VOC free. So the concrete stays recyclable if they do tear it down. Lower applied cost than most other methods. It's ready to use products. So you're not having somebody just doing nothing but mixing two part products together. It eliminates that error factor. And it can be applied to the positive or negative side of the concrete. Although we highly recommend the positive side. So you keep the water out of the concrete to start with. Uh, it can't be damaged. It can't deteriorate, delaminate. There's no UV issues. It's, it's long-term waterproofing. We're talking about decades here instead of years. So really changing the dynamic. Really the only con is that the concrete surface has to be dry to the touch in order to move to the next step. So once you spray it, you have to let it dry. It usually takes a couple hours, hour and a half, depends on the ambient conditions. Is it sunny? Is it hot? Is it breezy? It'll, it'll dry faster. If it's humid, if it's cloudy, or if it's the second level on a five level parking structure surrounded by big buildings, you're not getting breeze, it might take three or four hours to dry. But once it's dry to the touch, then you can move to the next step. None of it has to do with, you know, 24 hour dry times like some of the coatings have. So this is just a real quick uh, look at the products and systems. Uh, we talked today about the TechCrete system. This is our specification driven, long-term one-time application product line. It gets put down by certified applicators that are trained by our factory field techs. They go out on the job and make sure these guys are doing it right. The Crete Pro line, as we just talked about, that's for the maintenance teams and smaller contracts contractors that aren't interested in the big warranty, but they want to have a great waterproofing for their customers. And the bridge deck line, which is the highway driven 
infrastructure, if you will, type products. Then what we didn't talk about today is we have a line of crystalline products, our Duratite line, and those are great for uh, patching and repair for below grade where you've got water coming in, you know, from the outside coming in. Uh, and then we've got our ACR, uh, Alchemco Cleaning and Repair products, and it falls into a couple categories. We've got several cleaning products that can be used to uh, get jobs ready uh, for waterproofing, or they can just be used for cleaning concrete for a general contractor, a flooring contractor, somebody that needs to get the concrete clean before they do their next step on a project. Then we've got our repair products, and then we've also got the enhancers that are used in the system. So the ACR products, there's a concrete cleaner. This is just for power washing. It's a great environmentally safe. These are all environmentally safe products. We've got concrete etch, which replaces muriatic acid. And it, it's very safe and does a great job. And it, it can dry in place. You don't have to neutralize it. You can let it dry in place and then just broom it up or vacuum it up. Our rust converter and inhibitor is if you've got already corroded steel butt reinforcement bar, you can clean it up and put this on to stop any future corrosion. Our emulsifying cleaner gets the oil and gas and radiator fluid and stuff out of the concrete from parking structure for you know where all the dripping is because we've got to have open pores for our stuff to penetrate in. Paint and stain remover is exactly what you think is for getting striping off handicap things on parking structures, etc. And then uh, graffiti remover. And then our enhancers and accessories, these are the things that go along with the system. So we have concrete patching and repair, a pourable sealer, our poly seal sealant, our poly membrane flashing, uh, our crack concrete crack weld kit for the bigger cracks that are bigger than two millimeters. And then lastly, uh, in our Duratite system, we have our temporary roof system. And uh, this is something that we've introduced very recently because of the supply chain issues that are out there, uh, particularly in the roofing industry. It's you know sometimes three, six, eight, 10, 12 months before they can get insulation or adhesives or things to put the, the roofing system down on a concrete deck. And yet the general contractor wants to get the trades working inside. So much like we did on the project in Little River uh, that I showed you, this can get sprayed very quickly on the concrete deck. It'll waterproof it for up to a year. Uh, it's very inexpensive, a buck 60 a square foot applied. And uh, it is fast. It's an easy way for the general to be able to have his trades working underneath. And so that's the end of the presentation. And uh, thank you for your, uh, your patience and uh, your interest in the product.